In practice, we are going to think probabilistically using hacker statistics. You had an introduction to hacker statistics in previous DataCamp courses, and in this course we will greatly extend your expertise. The basic idea is that instead of literally repeating the data acquisition over and over again, we can simulate those repeated measurements using Python. For our first simulation, we will take a cue from our forebears. The concepts of probability originated from studies of games of chance by Pascal and others in the 17th century. So, we will simulate coin flips. Specifically, we will simulate the outcome of four successive coin flips. Our goal is to compute the probability that we will get four heads out of four flips. NumPy's random module, a suite of functions based on pseudo-random number generation, will be our main engine for doing this. To simulate a coin flip, we use the function np.random.random, which draws a number between 0 and 1, such that all numbers in this interval are equally likely to occur. If the number we draw is less than 0.5, which has a 50% chance of happening, we say we got heads, and we get tails otherwise. This type of experiment, where the result is either true, heads, or false, tails, is referred to as a Bernoulli trial, and we will work with these more as we go through the course. The pseudo-random number generator works by starting with an integer, called a seed, and then generates random numbers in succession. The same seed gives the same sequence of random numbers, hence the name pseudo-random number generation. So if you want to have reproducible code, it is a good idea to seed the random number generator using the np.random.seed function. Now to do our coin flips, we import NumPy, seed the random number generator, and then draw four random numbers. Conveniently, we can specify how many random numbers we want with the size keyword argument. The first number we get is less than one half, so it is a heads but the remaining three are all tails. We can show that explicitly using the less than operation, which gives us an array with the Boolean value true for heads and false for tails. We can compute the number of heads by summing the array of Booleans, because in numerical context, Python treats true as one and false as zero. We want to know the probability of getting four heads if we were to repeat the four flips over and over and over again. We can do this with a for loop. We first initialize the count to zero. We then do 10,000 repeats of the four flip trials. If a given trial had four heads, we increase the count. So what is the probability of getting all four heads? It's the number of times we got all heads divided by the total number of trials we did. The result is about 0.06. Pascal and his friends did not have computers and worked out problems like this with pen and paper. While this particular problem is tractable, pen and paper statistics can get hard fast. With hacker statistics, you pretty much do the same procedure every time. You figure out how to simulate your data, simulate it many, many times, and then compute the fraction of trials that had the outcome you're interested in. Now let's use hacker statistics to simulate some more data.